Time now for a look at your health. It is an embarrassing problem affecting half of adult women and a quarter of adult men. We're talking about backne. That's acne on your back, and it's that time of year when we want to show more skin. So joining me now, as always, on Tuesdays, Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD with more on back acne and, of course, mistakes that people make in trying to treat it. Thanks for being here. It's good to be here. This is one of those subjects you don't really want to talk about, but it's such a big deal, especially for um, a community like San Diego that works out so much. What is backne? Is it the same as acne on your face? It is. It's acne on your face, but it's on your back. Now, the problem is when it's on your back, it's actually more difficult to take care of because the skin of the back is thicker. Mm -hmm. The acne tends to be thicker, too, and you can get cysts and scars, and it's a difficult problem. What brings it on? You know, hormones and stress are the two most common things, as well as genetics. So if you're under a more stress, if, if you're a woman with different types of hormonal fluctuations, that can make it occur. But also what I see in San Diego, a lot of high school football players, mm -hmm. when they're wearing shoulder pads, people that are working out in the gym and they're, and they're lying on their backs, they tend to get a little bit more because when you sweat and you get the seclusion on your clothing and then you're sitting out working out or in football, mm -hmm. you can actually rub the, the dirt into your pores and that causes the acne. Oh, that's interesting. So let's talk about some treatments and preventative measures. What do you suggest? We have some tips for yeah. our viewers. Most important thing is make sure that you're, when you're wearing gym clothes, it's they're clean. And I would mm -hmm. try to go away from the nylon ones and the, the cotton ones are actually a little bit better. So that would be one thing to do. Do. Another thing is when you're finished at the gym, wash. And now it's not just washing with soap and water because you know it's tough to get on your back unless you've got a friend doing it for you. So I brought along a few really cool things. Okay. We've talked about this device before. It's called a Clarisonic. Yeah, brush you see women doing it to their, their faces. Face, but all the now time. the company just developed this back thing so you can actually put the cleanser and get your back. It's like, how cool is that? This is the first time it's ever been out. It's not a very expensive expensive add-on. So if you have a Clarisonic brush, this is going to really get the cleanser. And what do you put on the brush itself? That's a good thing, uh, Kathy. So what we do is there's many kinds of cleansers made from a variety of companies. I have three companies here, the Aven, the Skin Medica, and mm -hmm. the Obagi. The key ingredient tends to be salicylic acid because if you have a salicylic acid, you're not going to stain your clothing, you're not going to change your skin color, but it's going to actually release a lot of the dirt and bacteria from your pores. So it's a sal acid cleanser that goes on here. And now you mentioned also spot treating with benzoyl peroxide yes. and, and topical or antibiotic pills. Are, are those the same as scrubs or no, totally different things? No, those are thing? different. So the other products here are the benzoyl peroxide creams and they actually make back devices that you can put on that you can get at any drugstore to put the creams on as well. The only problem with the benzoyl peroxide is it can stain clothing. Okay. So you don't want to wear like your silk red outfit, but a, a usually cotton works as well. And they even have sprays now that you can actually even spray your back as well. So there's there are ways to get it on your back. Is but, this just a, co a cosmetic issue or can there be real health no, problems? No, there that, really are health problems. You. When people have back acne, it's actually painful. When I see a lot of guys and women with it, it can actually uh, make you not want to lie on your back let alone take your shirt off. And when it gets to be cystic or really bad looking, that's when you have to see your dermatologist will put you on a short course of antibiotics to get it under control. The object is not to take antibiotics for your whole life, mm -hmm. but sometimes you do need to go on the antibiotics for a short period of time. All right, some good advice. Thank you so much. And I'm sure there's a lot of people as spring fast approaches that yeah, appreciate your, this advice. Get your backs uh, in shape so you can look like Lauren when you're in the beach. He must have spotted you. <laughs> it's power of suggestion, too. It's just like yawning. Suddenly my back itches like crazy. <laughs> if you guys could help me out.